If you're someone who loves to find deals, loves to get a value out of their money, and loves going on luxurious vacations, then this is the video for you. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Catherine. I'm the blonde in the air. I make videos about affordable luxury travel and also affordable luxury in the home. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can redeem your free night award certificates with Marriott for a really great value. I don't want you to be spending on courtyard or element. No, no, we're not doing that here. We're doing beautiful luxury hotels and that is it. So the way I structure this video is into three parts. Part one is the setup. Part two is actually the treasure hunt, I call it, for the hotel gem. And part three, I give you two examples that I have used the free night awards in the last two years. I think that showing by example will be really beneficial for you to understand how to do this yourself. So let's begin. Part one, set up the basics. So there are two basic things I really want you to do if you are interested in getting a value for your money. That is one, getting a Marriott credit card. Now, there are two credit card companies who offer Marriott cards. The first one is Chase. And now for the second credit card issuer, um, we have American Express, they have the Bonvoy Brilliant card and you have to look at all the benefits and see which one makes sense for you. So in terms of this video, I'm talking about a free night award certificate. This certificate is something you get as a benefit for being a card holder um, Marriott. And so the card that I have, the Bonvoy Boundless, $95 annual fee, I get a one night free award certificate and I can choose to stay at a hotel that that night's rate is up to 35,000 points. Now there's many, 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 many hotels that you can choose from that are way less than 35,000 points. Now the one below, which is the bold, the bold is $0 annual fee and it does not include a free night award. So just know that if you are interested in getting this free night award, um, don't get the bold. Another thing to note is that they don't give you the free night award right when you open up the card. I had to wait a whole year for my account anniversary to get the free night award. So if you're gonna get a card and think, I'm gonna go on a trip like ASAP, no you will not because it won't happen. <laughs> So whatever you're doing right now, you're preparing for next year, basically. But now the second thing that you need to set up or have an understanding of before you go on the Marriott Free Night Award journey is to get acquainted with the structure of the Marriott brands. So there are four tiers um, and I prefer to stay at either luxury or premium when I'm doing the free night award redemptions. Like I said, I feel like that's the best value for your money, um, basically. Now I do want to note here that the luxury collection, autograph collection hotels and tribute portfolio, that's not like the name of the hotel. Okay, so you may see, for example, I stayed at the Opus Hotel. Um, it is part of the autograph collection. Um, so there are many like more individual hotels, but they're a part of this category of hotels. Luxury collection really is very luxury. Like you would probably find rates of like 300 a night, 400 a night. Uh, the select is for me like a little bit of a lower end category. Longer stays. It's a mix. Um, as you see, homes and villas is included in longer stays. Now that's luxury, but it's not in the luxury category because it's in the longer stays category. But residence in town place suites, element, those are more lower end um, Marriott's. Executive apartments, I've actually never seen them before. I can probably assume that they're like more of the premium category. Um, and so homes and villas, I really see that as a luxury, but they're in the longer stays. You should have an understanding of which hotel brands are in which tier, because when you are looking at, you know, booking a hotel um, and you see the brands, you have a quick understanding, like, is this 
valuable. Um, you know, if I saw a residence in for 30,000 points, I would be like, are you kidding me? <laughs> like, that's ridiculous. No. <laughs> um, residence in should be like 15,000 to 19,000. I feel like that's a little bit more um, understandable for a residence in. If you see a residence in for 30,000, you cannot stay there. That's not okay. You don't even have to click on the location button um, if you're looking for hotels to see like, oh, if you see a Spring Hill Suite, yeah, that's not in the city. Um, if you want to be in the action, yeah, you're not going to be staying at these hotels. So for me, like I've stayed at a lot of these brands. Um, there's some I have not stayed at, but I do have an understanding of like which brand offers what. So for example, if I'm going to stay at a Marriott, so you see it's premium tier, I expect to be able to call down to the front desk and get robe and slippers. I expect that. Um, especially if I'm staying at the Ritz Carlton, which is luxury, there should be a robe already in my room. So these are expectations I have. If I'm gonna be staying at the Residence Inn, I know I will not see a robe and slippers. And if I call, they won't be there. It, they don't have it at the hotel. So it's just like the level of luxury or lack of um, that you need to understand before you book. So in summary, really important things to know. You gotta know the different tiers, um, have a awareness and understanding of which brand belongs in which tier. You are going to find lower rates at the select or longer stays tiers and it's going to be more expensive for premier and luxury. You need to also know kind of what expectations you have at the hotel. Um, like I said, with the robe and slippers, you're not getting at the Residence Inn, but you're going to get at the Marriott or Ritz-Carlton, right? By the way, there is also a really good link here on Marriott's website, which actually gives you pictures and kind of gives you a description of what um, the hotel is about. Definitely go through this link so you can kind of get an understanding of the different brands um, and the vibe that they give. And just note that the lower tier brands, um, you know, it's not all modern and updated. You have to click on each hotel and see like what has been done. Part two. Now we're gonna be going on a treasure hunt to find a hotel gem. I'm really excited because this is basically the biggest reason why I love um, you know, researching for travel because that's what it feels like, a treasure hunt. If I had all the money in the world and I can stay at any hotel I want to, it would not feel the same uh, because I could just one button, click, I'm done. I don't even have to think about it. Um, but if, you know, if you're working more with a budget, um, you don't have all the money in the world, you really have to do the research to figure out if the hotel is right for you. And that gives you the opportunity to go on a treasure hunt. Um, I love hunting for best deals, whether it's for traveling, but also like in life, like maybe for shopping, that's really fun. Like it's a treasure hunt. I try to find really nice pieces of clothing and really nice hotels for less money than it's worth. Best way to show you how to go on a treasure hunt for hotel gems is by giving examples. So today we're gonna to be looking to stay in Miami. And I think we should say for one night. Um, let's look at, I don't know, Friday to Saturday. So we have points and certificates checked off already. Um, one room, one guest, lowest regular rate. Yes, fine hotels. Okay, so let's go through the process that I would go through um, in order to figure out which hotel to stay at. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is filter by brand. Now, I've already discussed how when I want to redeem for a free night award, I only wanna stay at either a premium or a luxury brand. So we're just gonna select all select all okay so now you see how luxury and premium have been um, like circled and the rest are not circled so we're gonna click apply okay so now we have filter by brand the next thing I want to do is to sort by points awesome Okay, and I also like to show rates um, with taxes and fees. That's just really helpful. Like this is the full price that you're getting 
Okay, so remember when we talked about credit cards? There are different credit cards that you can be using um, that are from Marriott. Uh, there are two out of three that actually give you a free night certificate. One of them gives you up to 35,000 points to redeem for the night, and the other one gives you up to 50,000 points to redeem. So let's pretend we're just going to have the Boundless card, and we have to look for a really nice hotel up to 35,000 points. So. We have already sorted by reward points, we filter by brand, which is luxury and premium, and right off the bat, um, you know, I don't even want to look at the Sheraton Suites, Fort Lauderdale. It's 17,500 points, not worth it for my redemption. Okay, we're gonna scroll up, all of these not worth it, not worth it, okay. Now we've hit 30,000. I'm not gonna be mad about spending uh, 30,000 points um, for my one night award because my max is 35,000, okay? So we've hit 30, we have 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, so many 35s, woo! Oh, and then we got, we hit to 45. Okay. Now, looking at all the 35s, what you need to start noticing is that there are different dollar amounts under all these 35,000, okay? If you really want to feel like you maximize the value out of your award night certificate, then you need to look at it. Now, this also includes all taxes and fees, okay? This is the final dollar. So we have 262, um, that's the JW Marriott Miami. Okay, so that's one good contender, 262. And then we have 273, the Del Mar. We have 258, Fort Lauderdale, Marriott. So, obviously the most expensive one is the Del Mar, um, but also it's not Miami. Um, I think these two are both Fort Lauderdale, and then the other one is Miami. Okay, so in this exact circumstance, I wanted to go to Miami the JW Marriott Miami is the place I would go. If I was to be flexible and considered Fort Lauderdale, I would go down over here and see that I have two options that I don't mind staying at. I would just see which one is prettier, maybe which one has nicer amenities, nicer hotel room, and I'd figure it out. Now, if you had the 50,000 points for your night award certificate, we're gonna keep scrolling. We're not looking at this. Oh we hit 50,000. So there are several here to look at. We have the W Miami, $369 a night. JW Marquise Miami, $401 a night. We have Hotel Beau Arts, 312. Winter Haven, 261. Royal Palm, 262. Cadillac, 329. JW, 444. There's so many actually. Another W, but this is for Lauderdale, 447. Ooh, and then this Ritz Carlton just got out of our range. It, let's try Sunday into Monday. I really want to get you Ritz Carlton here for 50,000 points. That is my goal. Um, so we're looking, we're looking. Here we are, here we, we got it, we got it. Okay, so if you wanna stay at the Ritz Carlton and you have the free night award certificate um, that gives you 50,000 points maximum, um, consider doing a Sunday to Monday. It looks to be a lot cheaper. Um, so we have two Ritz Carltons here, Key Biscayne, Miami, and also Fort Lauderdale. Key Biscayne, Miami is a higher worth, $401 versus $322 in Fort Lauderdale. So um, that's important to note if you are, oh, ooh, wait a minute, look at this. Another Ritz Carlton popped up in the 40,000 point range. Um, so that's also really cool to know. Maybe possibly you have Marriott points. This is, this looks worth it. I also have um, a blog post that explains how I stayed at a Ritz Carlton for free last year. Um, and it has so many details that if you want to refer back to this video, you can. But if you want to refer to my blog post, it's super detailed and helpful. And you can like do two screens step by step, like you can do it yourself. So I really recommend. 
Part three, I wanna show you two examples of free night award certificates that I have redeemed the last two years. I've only had the card for three years, but like I said, you don't start getting your free night awards until one year later. So the first free night award certificate that I've redeemed was in 2020, um, and it was at the Ritz Carlton. So let me walk you through how that looked like. So let's go to Tyson's, Virginia. Basically why I went to Virginia was to see my friend who lives out there. We went to school together and um, yeah, quarantine was still, uh, yeah, I haven't like slept out the house in a very long time. Um, it was June, 2020. So it was really well needed to get a trip to Virginia um, and see my friend that I haven't seen in so many months. So yeah, let's just put, um, I don't know, like the Friday to Saturday, like we did for the other um, example. And we're gonna find hotels. Okay, so here we are, the Tyson's Corner Ritz Carlton, 35,000 points. That's exactly how much my free night certificate is worth. And right now, if you were to book this hotel, it's $215 a night. So, oh, let's add actually tax and fees. That went away. Now it's $242 a night um, with tax and fees. Okay, so um, yeah, this is the hotel I stayed at. It's really beautiful. Um, unfortunately, because, um, you know, COVID times, the pool was closed. Um, I really wanted to have tea time. The tea time time was not happening. Um, very sad. And I got to actually stay there for two nights. So the first night I used the free night award. And then the second night I used my points. So that was 35,000 points. The way I even got these points was through opening up my credit card, the Chase Marriott Boundless, and I got a 100,000 point sign up bonus and 35,000 of that went to the hotel. So yeah, I didn't have to um, pay for the hotel for two nights. So it was really nice. It was the first time I ever stayed over at Scarleton. Um, and uh, yeah, definitely worth it. Uh, I recommend, if you've never stayed over at Scarleton, this is the one to start off at because it is very, attainable um and if you're in the northeast it's not far to drive to so you can definitely do that now for the second time i've used the free award night um certificate um it was this year so let me walk you through that i wanted to have a going away moving party um in new york so i moved from new york to philadelphia um, August 1st and uh, two weeks before I moved I had this party now let me show you okay so the reason I knew to go to Westchester immediately oh yeah so the party was on a Sunday so the reason I knew to go to Westchester immediately is because I know hotel prices in New York City um, will be very high and I really wanted to get a good value for my money and I thought, well, my friends, most of them do have cars, they can drive to Westchester. So we're gonna be doing the same thing again with the whole brand situation. Oh good, okay, so luxury and premium are selected. Great. Now we're gonna be doing the rewards points. That's how we're gonna sort them. Okay, and show rates with taxes and fees. Okay, um, I had this free night award certificate, so I don't want to look at these very low prices here. My max is 35000 so let's look, 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 look. Ah, and here we are. The Opus Westchester Autograph Collection. Okay, um, underneath it is another autograph collection hotel. Um, now, let's just say I didn't to my party yet and I didn't choose Opus, okay? Now I'm sitting here looking at this screen. I see two hotels, both 35,000 points a night, both autograph collection, okay? Um, 
One is in New Jersey though, but that's fine. It doesn't look too far. So I'm gonna be looking right now at the value um, of dollars. So Enview is $210 a night, but the Opus is $447 a night. But I could see at both of them for 35,000 points each, okay? Immediately, you know, I would go for the Opus, okay? Now, um, so the 35,000 points um, a night is for the regular guest room, um, but they do have suites. I'm also a gold status member um, with Marriott, and one of the benefits is that you get to um, upgrade to the next uh, available uh, tier of rooms. So I called up the Opus and said, I am staying at this hotel, because I already booked it um, for that day. So I said, you see that I'm gold member, um, can you please upgrade me to the next available tier of the room? And then I wanna pay whatever is the difference to upgrade to a one bedroom suite, okay? So this is a three step process. Step one, get the free night's award certificate. Step two, have the gold status so that you can upgrade to the next available room. Step three, ask to now upgrade to the one bedroom suite. Okay, so the one bedroom suite is about a thousand square feet, okay? Um, it is this one. One bedroom, larger suite, one king bed, sofa bed, one and a half bathrooms. Yeah. And this is the room. Okay, so this is how it looked like. Now you also don't see, okay, so this table was not here. It was on, it was over this side, but um, yeah. Okay, yeah, so it does not show you. It's a really long hallway. And then like, you have like an area for the half bath and like closets and then it opens up to this room that you see here also the couch is different it's a little the design's a little bit different then it's the bedroom and then it's this beautiful huge bathroom that um yeah i don't know why they don't have pictures of it it's actually insane as you see it's a thousand square feet <laughs> this is a really big room cost of upgrading from the room that i was upgrade for free and going to a one bedroom um, was $80 and then there's some taxes. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really hope that you took some value out of it. You've learned about the different Marriott Bonvoy brands and the different tiers. I hope that you now understand how to really get the value out of your free night award redemption. So if you did feel that way, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and that bell icon if you'd like to get updates about when I post my videos. And if you have done all of the above, thank you so much. I really appreciate you and I'll see you in my next adventure.